finish off my um, curve 5 5 pattern. The first thing I'm going to do is to um, rotate this top piece about the center 180 degrees. So let's put in a dot at the center. I'm also actually I'm going to undo that first and I'm actually going to go over to options and I'm going to go no new objects and then the labels won't come up. Now I'm going to put the point in here. I'm going to now go and select the rotate tool um, and I'm just going to rate, rotate this top piece. I'm going to rotate it about that. And I'm going to choose 180 degrees and I'm actually going to do it in a clockwise direction. Oops. I'm going to undo that. Actually I did that, I put the point in the wrong place. So I'm going to take the point out and I'm going to put the point where I should have put it the first time, um, right here, right in the middle of that. And now I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees about that point. So I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to select that point and I'm going to go clockwise. And there we have what I wanted. I'm now going to um, undo all those dots. So I'm going to go points. And I'm just going to go and undo those. Right. And now here I'm going to put in a little piece using the semicircle. I'm just going to put in here a little um, piece like so and back here um, and I'm going to un the dots. That's just sort of just to make this um, a little bit like a ticky or a, um, tiny file. I'm going to save it. I'm not actually sure if I like that. I'm just going to I think I'm going to just take that out and just leave it for the time being. Leave it like that. And now I'm going to put in um, a piece that I'm going to put start here and bring around, which I'm then going to rotate around the center piece, around this point right here. So. I'm going to go over to the semicircular arc. I'm just going to go Um, I might actually just uh, get rid of that, delete it, so maybe undo. It's not quite what I want. Okay, um, now 
to finish this off, what do I really need? Um, I'm going to um, highlight, I'm going to enlarge the whole object. So I'm going to take the whole object, I'm going to go zero point five. Dot and then translate it first. I'll translate the whole object. I'm going to say translate and I'm going to move it across one, two, three, four. All right, so I'm going to move it about six across and four up. So I'll go from here and that'll be to there and I'll go up to there. I can now just go up there and I can pull that down to there, down to that point. Um, and I can put in a, a mirror line. And I can reflect it. Reflect it through this mirror line, through the center here. So I'll take that whole object again and I'll just reflect it. I'll just undo that. I'll just oh, just reflect this whole object. through the mirror line I'm going to now select the top piece there and I'm going to rotate it um, yeah I'll do that. so I've done reflection rotation translation I've got to do enlargement yet um, so I could um, yeah, I could take this whole bit. I could choose enlargement. And I could go over here and go zero point five. Um, and then I could do the same again. again.
I don't want it in. I don't want it in there, so I'll just get rid of that and I'll just take it away a little bit more. Yep. And now I can do the same again. So I'll do, but I'll go the other way this time, so I'll just take that. Huh. Okay, I'll just highlight this and I'll reflect that. Right that line. And then I'll undo all the dots. Save. Um, now I'm just, I actually, I think I'll take these two pieces and I'm going to rotate them about the center here. Um, this is interesting. Um, yeah, I'll rotate them 180 degrees about that point. And that should bring this one over here and this one over here. I'm actually really liking this a little bit now. I wasn't liking it as much, but I think actually I've done my enlargements, I've done rotation, I've done reflection, and I think I'll just finish this off by doing this. Um, so I'm going to put a dot right in the center here. Then I'm going to go and choose rotate about point, and I'm going to um, choose this piece here first and I'm just going to rotate it about that point there 180 and I'm going to do it in a clockwise and then I'm going to do the same here I'm just going to highlight this piece and I'm going to uh, rotate that about the same point I'm going to go clockwise again. And 
and here I've got my element um, I'm going to undo that because I can see one piece didn't come across I can see just this edge of the little star shape didn't come so I can redo that so I can um, go down here highlight that and I can tidy this up I can rotate about that point 180 degrees in a clockwise position um, and now I can um, find the um, dots element here points and I can get rid of all of those dots and then I'm just about ready I think um, to put this into um, Photoshop and do the final um, piece. I I would like to put something in here and here. Um, I'll just undo the, the dots here and think about that. There's a little bit of tidy up work to do. Um, that shouldn't take too long. Uh, I could I think what I will do is um, actually put a star pattern here Um, so I can just get, I can click on this here, I can just get rid of that, I can that, and that there. Um, I quite like that, I can get rid of that. That's looking really good. I think if I just put a polygon here from here to here to here here Actually, I'll just undo that I'll make the polygon go from here to here to here so make a bigger polygon so I could make the polygon go from here to here to here um, to here to here and then I'll go there to there to there to here no, I'm going to undo that I don't like that so I think I'll just um, basically leave everything as I've got it Um, maybe it would be best just to do this using the semicircular tool. Um, just go from here to here, here to here. Um, okay. From here to here from here to here from here to here from here to here um, from here to here here to here and here to here and here to here actually if I brought that down I don't know if this will bring the whole. No, see, I'm going to have to. Um. I could. Oh, 
I could do this. I could. Uh, rotate. I could rotate this. Um, 100. I could actually, yeah, rotate that 180 degrees about that point, and that one 180 degrees about that point. So let's do that. So I'll put in a point right here, right in the middle of this. And I'll put another one right down here. You see? I then will come back and I'll click that. And I'll just highlight this piece. And I'll click on that. I'll go 100 clockwise. And I'll highlight this. And click on that. I'll go clockwise. Right. Um, actually, I'm not going to. I'm going to undo both those. I'm just going to leave this as it is. It's getting too cluttered. Um, and I really like. I actually like this part here. Um, The only thing I might do is uh, think about uh, translating again, tra translating that over to there, that over to there, and that over to there, and that over to there. Um, I could do that actually. That would be easy to do. Just move that a little bit. Actually, the best would be just. Um, I could reflect it through that line there. Mm. Yeah, why don't I? I'm, this is what I'll do. I will try this. I'll put a dot in the middle, right here. I think I'll just leave it like that. I'll get rid of the um, grid and I'll just um, put this on the clipboard and I'll um, take it into Photoshop and deal with it over there.